Hello friends. Welcome to Anime Zone Sensei. In this video I will show you 10 best special attacks in Dragon Ball Super, as Dragon Ball's fighters keep reaching higher power levels, new and improved moves enter the arena. The ongoing success of Dragon Ball Super, the latest addition to Akira Toriyama's signature shonen saga, is proof of the franchise's perennial success. Dragon Ball Super finds the perfect blend between nostalgic fan service and challenging, new ideas that help the series remain relevant for modern audiences while still feeling faithful to its roots. The characters in Dragon Ball have been protecting the planet for nearly four decades, and they've since acquired the strength of literal gods. The new dangers the universe faces in Dragon Ball Super have resulted in special techniques that the characters can use for a much-needed boost. Number 10. Vegeta's Force Spirit Fission involves an elaborate control over energy, one of Dragon Ball's most rewarding dynamics is the friendly rivalry that exists between Goku and Vegeta. However, some of Vegeta's most substantial character development involves him forging his own path in Dragon Ball Super. Vegeta spends a healthy amount of time training on Planet Yardrat, which leaves him equipped with better control over his life force as well as some impressive new attacks. Force Spirit Fission turns out to be instrumental in the battle against Planet Eater Moro since Vegeta can distribute the energy that the magic user has stolen from the planet. Under the right circumstances, Vegeta could even use the attack to separate someone's fusion. Number 9. Hit's Time Skip Technique is a bold blow that most never see coming, Universe 6 has an eclectic roster of fighters, and one of their standout individuals is Hit, a revered assassin with an unblemished record. Hit's effortless attitude gives him a sharp edge, and he's able to make such a mark as a hitman because of a mysterious technique that he's mastered. Hit's time ship attack allows him to manipulate time in incremental doses, but in such a manner that the target is left flabbergasted over what caused their defeat. Battle-savvy fighters like Goku and Vegeta figure out the mechanics behind the time skip, but for most, it's already too late. Number 8. Future Trunks channels the hope of humanity into his glorious Sword of Hope, Dragon Ball Super brings back fan-favorite character, Future Trunks, to help with another disaster that has consequences that put multiple realities at risk. The heroes give everything they've got against fused Zamasu, even Vegito Blue isn't enough to defeat him, in what's easily one of Future Trunks' most heroic moments, he channels spirit bomb level energy into his signature blade and proceeds to cleave Zamasu in half with his Sword of Hope. The specifics of the Sword of Hope are still a bit of a mystery, and it's unclear if it's now a permanent ability within Future Trunks' arsenal. Number 7. Goku's trademark techniques evolves to divine heights with his god Kamehameha. One of the first abilities that Goku learns in the original Dragon Ball is the Kamehameha, which has gone on to become the calling card of the series' heroes and a skill that he's passed down through generations. Variations on the Kamehameha have been explored, but the attack reaches unprecedented heights in Dragon Ball Super. Goku transcends to a Super Saiyan God and beyond, which imbues him with the power of the God Kamehameha. This transformation becomes more intense once Goku graduates to Ultra Instinct and begins to use the Divine and Supreme Kamehameha. Number 6. The Evil Containment Wave is designed to contain true terror. The Evil Containment Wave is first introduced all the way back in the original Dragon Ball as a possible way to handle the threat of Piccolo. The seemingly forgotten attack returns decades later in Dragon Ball Super after Zamasu acquires immortality. Zamasu's immortal status forces everyone to turn to different strategies, and Rashi's plan to seal Zamasu away and handle the threat that way actually makes a lot of sense. The Evil Containment Wave doesn't turn out to be the key to Zamasu's defeat but Goku and Future Trunks learn how to perform it, and it may be needed again someday. Number 5. Jiren's Omega Heat Magnetron is an aggressive attack for annihilation, Dragon Ball Super makes a major impact through the introduction of its multiverse. The strongest fighters from these realms are forced to fight for their universe's survival in the Battle Royale Tournament of Power. 
Goku and the rest of Universe 7's fighters quickly meet their match with Jiren, a juggernaut from Universe 11 and the leading member of their police force, the Pride Troopers. Jiren has unbelievable speed and physical strength, so he often doesn't need to resort to energy attacks. However, Jiren's Omega Heat Magnetron is an intimidating burst of fiery energy that leads to many eliminations within the Tournament of Power. Number 4. Hakai is a god of destruction's ultimate tool for erasure. Celestial deities of various tiers have been present in Dragon Ball ever since the introduction of Kami in the original series. Dragon Ball Super greatly expands upon the franchise's boundaries with a multiverse and new guardian figures like angels and gods of destruction. Gods of destruction, like Lord Beerus, are viewed as safeguards who can erase villainous individuals from the universe whenever necessary. Hakai is the attack that releases this destructive energy, and the few times it's been utilized in the series have been devastating. Vegeta happens to master the ways of Hakai while he trains under Beerus, whereas Goku struggles to work the attack into his arsenal. Number 3. Vegito's final Kamehameha is a deadly celebration of Goku and Vegeta's finest, Dragon Ball's characters have attained such staggering levels of strength that they can easily destroy a planet with a single attack. However, there are still plenty of occasions where this power is insufficient. Fusion is a quick way for two individuals to pool their strength and skills, which can have explosive results when it involves Goku and Vegeta. Vegito, their pot era earring fusion, re-emerges in Dragon Ball Super to face Samusu. Vegito launches a devastating final Kamehameha that's the culmination of both Scion's signature attacks. Dragon Ball Super, Broly also features Gogeta and his Gallic Kamehameha, which is a similarly impressive technique. Number 2. Goku's Ultra Instinct Energy Avatar expands his power to epic proportions, Goku has always been Dragon Ball's trendsetter regarding new plateaus of Super Saiyan strength. Goku has recently ascended to the level of a god when he taps into Ultra Instinct Energy during his battle against Jiren in the Tournament of Power. Goku continues to reach new and stronger phases of Ultra Instinct until he learns how to get the most out of this Zen-like state. The peak of Goku's perfected Ultra Instinct power allows him to generate colossal energy, which can be used to fight and restrain individuals. Number 1. The Masenko Beam Cannon carries decades of friendship between Sion and Namekian, Piccolo and Gohan have had each other's backs right from the start of Dragon Ball Z, and one of Moro's top soldiers, the Android 73, prompts them to work together once again. The duo merge their trademark techniques, the Masenko and the Special Beam Cannon, into one concentrated burst of power. This combined maneuver is the perfect encapsulation of the decades of friendship and trust that's been built between Piccolo and Gohan. However, it's also quite touching when Gohan fires off his version of Piccolo's Special Beam Cannon during the climax of Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero.